Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a comparison video for you. And look, you guys know that I like larger knives, all right? Something like the Rat Model 1 is pretty much right in my wheelhouse. However, every once in a while, a small knife comes along that's so well done, that's so enjoyable, that's such a great design that I still like it and recommend it even though it's smaller than I normally go in for. And frankly, both of these knives the Kaiser Gemini and the Artisan Arroyo fall into that category. These are a little smaller than I generally like, but they are so, so good that I actually really like and recommend either one of these. And so if you want to know, you know, if you're thinking, should I buy one of these? Yeah, <laughs> okay, they're good. <laughs> um, I did want to do this comparison because there are a lot of similar features available. So you can get the Arroyo, mine is the acrylic one, but you can get the Arroyo in in uh, micarta wow i don't know where that word went uh, you can get it in micarta and, and that makes it very very comparable here the price point is pretty darn close close the arroyo ranges from like 45 bucks to the for these cheaper ones up to about 65 for some of the ones with the, the micarta the kaiser gemini is like 75 bucks so they're within 10 dollars of each other they're very close in size they're very well suited to edc and so let's go ahead and put these two side by side and see which one you should spend your hard-earned money on. All right, beginning with the Kaiser, it's seven and a quarter inches overall, three and one eighth, eighth inches on the blade, four and one eighth on the handle, three and three eighths grip area, which for me, and I have you know, fairly large hands, does give me a four finger grip and feels actually pretty darn nice in my hand. And it only weighs in at 3.2 ounces. Switching over to the uh, Arroyo here, we've got seven and a half inches overall, three and three eighths on the blade length, four and one eighth on the handle. Okay, notice that's exactly the same as the Gemini, three and a half inches of grip area. Okay, so that's right in here. And finally, it weighs in at 3.4 ounces. So these are within 0.2, point, yeah, 0 0.2 ounces of one another. Uh, in terms of weight, uh, they're really, you know, you're not going to, I'm not going to pick a winner there. However, in terms of size to performance and comfort in hand, right, th these handles are the exact same size. And yet I have to tell you, the Arroyo feels quite a bit better in hand. It's a little more hand filling. I get a full four finger grip and the jimping on the back of the spine is quite confidence inspiring. Moving over to the Gemini, my hand feels a little bit cramped as it often does on smaller knives. Now, this is better than a lot of the small knives that you've heard me complain about on the channel, but it's not as good as this, okay? So, uh, in terms of size, weight, and carry, I've got to give it to the Arroyo uh, just because I feel like, number one, you're carrying basically in your pocket the same size and the same weight. You get a little more blade and you get a little more handle real estate, which is makes it a little nicer to use. All right, let's talk about the blades on these two. Up he over here on the Kaiser, we have this nice stone wash on N690 steel, full flat grind, nice and thin behind the edge at 21 thousandths and just a really really good performing edc blade all right very very nice all around moving over to the arroyo we've got very similar uh, some very similar specs actually all right over here we have the proprietary steel which is ar rmp9 which is a powdered metallurgy steel uh, that is i think equivalent to like 9CR14 MOV, although with the powdered metallurgy, they're claiming better performance than that. All right, satin finish, trailing point, nice top swedge here, uh, high flat grind. It's not a full flat grind like the Gemini. And again, same number behind the edge, 21 thousandths behind the edge. Now, couple of points here that are worth considering. First of all, uh, how much belly do you like to have on your EDC knife? Do you want the kind of full belly that the, is coming on the Arroyo, or do you like something a little more standard like on the Gemini? Frankly, I tend to favor a blade like this, okay? But I really have to say, I appreciate the satin finish and the dramatic look of the Arroyo. The only thing is other people may notice that as well. So uh, for me, out of these two knives, 
the the blade on the Gemini takes the win. Uh, I just I enjoy it a little bit more. And well, I would wish that it had the same length. There's a, there's about a quarter of an inch extra here on the Arroyo. I would like to see that extra length on the Gemini, and I think it could have been accommodated. Uh, overall, the Gemini still wins in that department. Uh, both of these are flippers on bearings. All right, both have nice snappy detents, and both are liner locks. So little side to side comparison here. Flipper tab, very snappy, very enjoyable detent. Uh, the lock is a little tougher to get to on the Arroyo. That's definitely one of the weaknesses. And in terms of the detent, I could handle it being just a little firmer. Not, I mean, it's definitely not a problem. Uh, don't don't get me wrong, but the the Kaiser is a little more enjoyable. Uh, so from two in two regards, first the detent on the Kaiser is a little bit nicer, so it's it's a little snappier. Secondly, the lock bar is a little more accessible. So in terms of action, lockup, and deployment. All right, I got to give it to the Kaiser. It's just a little more comfortable and a little snappier on the detent. So that's, again, a pretty easy win. Now, moving on to the handles of these two knives. All right, so we've got the micarta here. This one happens to be the acrylic, but there's also uh, micarta available. Both are stainless steel liner locks. Uh, both, let's see, I'll show you the backspacer versus... There you go. So we've got backspacer versus standoff. You can see this one is milled out a little bit to save some weight. Over here, we've got similar stuff happening. So very, you know, there's not too much that, that differentiates these two except for one important thing, and that is the way these two feel in hand. And the Arroyo does feel quite a bit better. In fact, the Arroyo is quite comfortable and quite enjoyable, where the Kaiser is good, okay, but not not great. Okay, the Arroyo is what I would say is great for its size. The Kaiser is just what I expect for its size. All right, smaller knives, I always find that I, I don't feel like I have enough grip area. And the Arroyo kind of wrecks that. <laughs> okay, the Arroyo has, has lots of grip area. Well, the Gemini is not quite as nice if you have bigger hands. So between those two, I've got to pick the Arroyo on this one. Now that puts me in a difficult situation because I end up with a tie. Uh, I went with um, size, weight, and carry. I said the Arroyo one, blade, and action. I went with the Kaiser. And finally, feel in hand, I went with the Arroyo. And I feel like all of those are pretty important functions. So now it kind of comes down to design and some more subjective stuff, all right? And so how do I, how, what do I say here? The Gemini is a very clean, classic Laconico design, all right? Uh, and I love Ray Laconico's stuff. It's always like this. It's just very minimalist and simple and, uh, and beautiful. The Arroyo is much flashier, okay? This is something that's a little more over the top, that's a little more noticeable. And, and so probably part of this is gonna come down to just your personality and mine as well. For me, from a design standpoint, the Gemini is a little more appealing. However, if you're the person watching this and you go, I like something more dramatic, I like something more interesting, I like something that has a little bit of flair, then you're probably gonna be gravitating toward the Arroyo out of the two of these. And if someone sort of held a gun to my head and said, you know, you must get rid of one. You can only pick one. I would have to go with the Gemini just because I like the classic look a little bit more. But it is so close. All right, and in fact, so close that in the making of this video, I've changed my mind back and forth a couple times as I've prepared and done my research and thought about what am I gonna tell you guys at the end. Uh, at first I was like, yeah, the Arroyo is a little more interesting and dramatic, and it is, but there's something about the clean, classic Gemini design that, that for me anyway, would win in a comparison between these two. Now, as I said, I'm sure those of you watching might make a different choice. All right, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to check out the channel sponsors, this came from Southern Edge Knifeworks. Huge thank you to them for sending this along. And go over there and save yourself 15% off uh, and uh, pick one up for yourself. The Arroyo, uh, you can save 10% over at White Mountain Knives. That's where it came from. 
Uh, either one is great. I, I really, frankly, don't think, you know, if, if I had to shut my eyes and pick one and carry it for the day, I wouldn't be worried, right? I'd be totally happy with which either, whichever one I ended up with. And I think you'll be happy with either one as well. I hope I've given you enough data points, you know, in, in this comparison that you can pick which one is most suited to your needs for EDC. Thanks a lot for watching, and we will talk to you soon.